since for a lot of you this may be the first time that you have participated in a webinar or maybe you've participated in them before but with different software. The software that we're using is through a company called Citrix called GoToWebinar. So I'm sure when you registered, you saw either of those names. That is the company that is providing the software for us. So when you got the, the download requirement, that's what you saw it was. So if you've managed to attend, then that means you did it correctly. Congratulations. So like we said, we want this to be as interactive as possible. The software allows several opportunities for interaction and engagement with you, the, att the attendee, and us, the presenters. So before we begin, I want to walk you through what some of them are, just so that you see how to use them and that you practice using them before we begin. So first you'll see your panel, which I'm sure looks something very similar to what I have here. This should be what you're seeing. The first that you'll see on top is if you want to expand or collapse this panel. If you find it distracting, you can collapse it. If you like having it there, leave it open. It won't affect how you view, how you experience the webinar. It's personal preference. Below it is full screen mode. You can enter in so that it fills your whole screen so that you don't have any, any distractions on the side. You'll see that your microphone is muted. So if you're talking right now, I cannot hear you. Don't worry, we're not listening. If it says unmuted, we are, but we will not do that just with connectivity issues. I, for any presentation, microphones will always be muted. Now for the engagement tools, ways that you can interact with us. So I'm sure you've seen down here the questions box and any questions that you have for us. This is the chat box. So if you have any questions for us, if you any comments that you'd like to make, you can type them directly into the chat box and they go to us, the organizers. Unfortunately, or fortunately, other people cannot see it, so it does not allow for communication with all attendees. But we can see questions that may come up. If you're having technical issues, type them in the box. We'll be able to see them. Once the presentation gets going, if you have questions that come up about the content, you can type them in there as well. Questions might not be answered until the end, depending on the topic, but we will see them and we will address them when we can. So just to practice the chat box, if you want to come to your keyboards, if you're not already there, and type in, type message here, just tell us who you are and where you are joining us from, just so we can practice everyone typing into the chat box. 